time to go and work on a video. Let's talk notes. What note are we going to work on today? Oh, that's the one. That's the one. Yep, that's right. Let's talk about tuberose. Let's talk about tuberose, y'all. As a YouTuber, um, we are, you know, when you're doing social media, things like this, you kind of at the standard where you're trying to look right and everything and you want to have your voice right, you know. Okay, so what am I trying to say? Here's what I'm trying to say. Sometimes as a YouTuber, we get in this vibe or this feeling that we have to look a certain way in order to be correct to put out our content. You know, we want to have on a cute outfit, you know, a cute top. We want to have our makeup on as a woman. We want to be, you know, if we're sick and our voice is a little off, you know, we, we, we're apologizing for it and everything. So I'm, I was falling into that again. Um, I had really gotten out of that habit and there is a balance to it. You know, you want to look nice when you film, but there's also those times when you just really don't have the energy to do all that. You know, I mean, because YouTubers that watch this tell the truth, you know, you could be up and you putting on makeup just to film. You are doing it like at eight o'clock at night, you're putting on your makeup, you're filming and everything, and then you're taking it right off just because you put it on to film, right? And and we won't film because, you know, oh my God, you know, it's just, it, it's so much, it's so much doing all of that. And I was falling back into that habit of making, you know, going, oh my God, let me put on my full face. Let me do this. Let me do that. And and then saying, well, I can't film if I'm not perfect. Not perfect, but perfect. Um, and I had to remind myself that sometimes we just don't have the energy for it. So throw, slap on some lip gloss, maybe some lashes if you want to put them on. Didn't put them on because I just wanted y'all to see these, you know, we was wearing these glasses today. Um, and film and put out the content because I would hope that y'all more concerned about my content and not so much about my look on camera. Well, you know, I mean, we don't want me to look like I'm crazy or something, but you know, and it's not necessary to have everything in place, you know, picture perfect to be on camera. So anyway, you know what you're here for. Let's get started. So tuberose is my thing. Y'all know that. We know this. If you watch, if you hang out here, you know tuberose, rose. What's my other one? I just went blank on my top three. Damn, I can't remember the third one. What do I buy a lot of? Tuberose, rose, and something else. Fuck it. Okay, let's keep going. Anyway. <laughs> might have to cut that out because I sounded stupid. Let me think about that. Y'all, oud. <sighs> okay, two rows, rows, and oud. I buy a lot of that. You know, I'm I'm slowly getting out of oud. It's not as much. Um, moving into other things like plum and um, um, I want some apple. You know, okay, let, 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 shut the fuck up. Okay, wait, stop it. <sighs> okay, let's get into it. So anyway, it was time for me to talk tuberose again, but I put a poll out. I said, do you want to just see the updated ones? Because I did do this last year, or do you want me to do all of the tuberoses? And everybody said, do all the tuberoses. So we doing the tuberoses tonight on a Sunday. Hey, y'all, I know we doing a premiere right now. And y'all to listen to me ramble on. Thanks for hanging out. Appreciate y'all. And if you watch this in the, re if you watch it later, solid for you all. I'm going to put some, I'm going to put some chapters, timestamps and chapters, whatever. So you ain't got to listen to me go on and on. Okay. So anyway, let's hit the tuberoses. So I got a lot of tuberoses here. I pulled them all out. I pulled out everything that has a really strong tuberose presence. And 
let's just hit them up let's just go okay so and i got two new ones that just came today one i knew because i had tried it and that's why i ordered it and another one is brand new we're gonna be we're gonna try that last we're gonna see how this is so anyway let's get started oh i'm i moved something hold on there's two i should start out but i'm gonna put the other one later on but this one right here we're just gonna start this one let's just get this one out the way hello wild python y'all know this if you've never been here and this is your first one so let me just give y'all the brief rundown on wild python this is a beautiful stunning white floral tuberose um driven fragrance i i recommend this to everybody almost everybody loves it not everybody we got a few tara i'm looking at you opinionated sense <laughs> um but yeah people my donnie my best friend i'm looking at you too um but this is just a beautiful stunning stunning uh white floral the the name does not match but it don't matter because it's so damn good tubero wild python right here I was gonna try to put this in some semblance of order, but I'm just not even gonna try that because it was I was I was about to drive myself insane. Okay, so next up is tuberose castane. I think this was my very first tuberose, actually. Like really knowing I was getting a tuberose. And this is tuberose and chestnut. This is beautiful. This is a you know sweet, you know, uh, tuberose. The only thing that I don't like about this is that the chestnut does not last as long as I, I would like it to. But all in all, it is a beautiful, just gorgeous tuberose. All right. Next up is Good Girl Gone Bad by Kelly. And now this, honestly, until the thing with Riri and Love Don't Be Shy, this was the big, biggest selling perfume by uh, Killian for years for a good reason. It is beautiful. It's a floral, but it's got this sophistication. It's got this uniqueness about it that makes it just just glorious good girl gone bad is really just beautiful now i will say this the name does not fit it because this is not this is not a bad girl fragrance this is a pretty girl fragrance this is a stunning tuberose rose with a slight edge to it so it's like the country club girls but they stand, but you know, they got a little it, but they like to go to the city on the weekends, you know, and kick it and everything. And they kick it right. They're not like that goofy, you know, oh my God, let's go in. They got a little chill style about them. So that's good girl gone bad. Then we have, let's just go classic. Velvet Vanilla by Mancera. This is another Mancera. This is a classic bubblegum tuberose, classic. You can't get more classic than this. This baby is sweet. Now, let me tell you, do not get this if you don't like sweet, syrupy fragrances. This is sweet. This is syrupy. This is how, when I finally figured out, now this is what they mean by bubble gum tuberose. Because this smells like some, like bubble yum or something. It smells like old school bubble yum. That's what it smells like. All right. Then we have Splendida uh, Tuberose Mystique by Bulgari. Now this is a beautiful tuberose. This is really a beautiful tuberose. I always say, first off, the bottle is ridiculously beautiful, but I always say this is like tuberose when you start out with tuberose. This is like baby steps tuberose. It's like kitty steps tuberose because it is beautiful. It has that sweet kind of creamy vibe to the tuberose but it's not so tuberose forward that you can't wear if you're just starting to try tuberose you'll feel okay with it so this is splendida this is tuberose mystique by bulgari this was one of mine i didn't even know what i was getting this is nirvana bourbon this is three notes uh tuberose bourbon vanilla and oak so this is this is a really interesting vibe on tuberose because the vibe with this one is very kind of, it's very unisex. This is very, this is, I always say this is like going, this is cigar smoking. This is cigar shop. This is smoky lounge. This is the kind of fragrance you wear with this. So the tuberose is there and it's, it's, it gives it a little sweetness to it, a little floralness 
floral, but that bourbon vanilla is gives it some straight booziness. So it's like boozy and then the bubblegum tuberose. So it's kind of, you know, this, this is hipster tuberose. You know, if you're kind of hip and like a smoky vibe on your fragrances, this is the hipster tuberose. You can get away with this one. You can get away with it and not feel like, you know, you're doing too much. Now, this one is a newer one. This is Giselle by Carla Frashi. This has tuberose in it. Oh, this is one of these elegant, sexy fragrances. This is the, ele you know, the tuberose is very elegant. It's a slightly sweet because it has caramel. So, you know, when you put in all those sweet notes, it comes out very sweet to it. So there's a sweetness to it. It's like, you know, almost bubblegum, but not. So it's just a sweet tuberose. But let me tell you, this is like that elegant, sexy. This is definitely um, when you are going to an after five affair, you're going to a beautiful high five star restaurant for dinner. That This is that kind of understated, elegant, sexy is this one, Car Giselle by Carla Frashi. Okay, let's go with this one. This one is newer to my collection. This is Fleurs de Citronnaire. I will be talking about everything about this fragrance, but it does have a tuberose in it. And what it is, is that this is lemon blossom. So it gives this kind of creaminess to it. This is, we'll, I'll talk more about it, but just know this is Serge Luton's Fleurs de Citronnaire. Um, yeah. Now, Salty Flower by Victor and Rolf. Okay, Salty Flower, y'all. This one is a, this one has Tiari Flower in it. It's got the tuberose in it. It's got, it's got a saltiness to it. This is your summertime tuberose because this is kind of fun. This has a certain kind of flirtatiousness about it. It's definitely one of those things that, you know, you wear, you know, for summertime. It's got that, you know, chill beach vibe to it, but still very um, upscale. It has an upscale quality to it. And then we have this one. I'm going to get, this one is Decisions, Decisions by, um, imaginary authors so let me tell you about this one this is the tuberose if you really don't know if you like tuberose this is a very this now this one has tuberose sarsaparilla geranium labdanum jasmine sambac raspberry sweet suspense which is a a, a mystery a fantasy accord by imaginary authors now, what happens is you get a lot of the raspberry. I've actually talked about this. I can't remember where. Was it on IG on here? But anyway, this is like this kind of strange kind of vibe. I, this isn't for everybody. Matter of fact, this is not a blind buy. Crazy me did. But it's very, um, it's a very, it, the sarsaparilla gives it kind of like this um, root beerish kind of vibe. Because sarsaparilla is what's in root beer. And then it has the raspberry, which gives it this juicy tartness to it, you know, fruity tartness to it. So it's a really interesting fragrance. It's grown on me, but it isn't something that I would say, yeah, you know, right off the bat, you're going to be like, oh, I love it. You really have to be into these type of, let me see, let me see. Yeah, you really have to be in something that is going to be quite unique quite unique and and has a certain mm, strikingness to it because you're going to stand out but let me say this this stuff don't last like it should like you would think it would so you really got to bathe in this so yeah this is decisions decisions by imaginary authors all right might as well get these out the way who baby i absolutely love these these are the tuberose trilogy by histoise de parfum this is number one this one is the last one i got because quite frankly when i was reading the notes i didn't think i wanted it this is before i knew i loved iris the way i've learned i've fallen in love with iris recently that's a new one coming i have been off on the iris kick um but yeah this is iris and tuberose and the funny thing about this is that it's just the the iris is really strong in the beginning and it but it's a 
floral iris. It's not powdery. It doesn't make it super powdery. It just makes it very iris. And then the tuberose font comes in. It takes the tuberose a little bit to kick in. But then once it does, oh, it's glorious. This is really beautiful for the spring and for, you know, like um, a spring, summer. This is a really pretty one for that time of the year. Um, yeah, just love it. Love it. Um, and I didn't think I was. I was just all of a sudden I said, you know, you got the first two. You got two of them. You might as well get the other one. And now I am so glad I have it. Tuberose number one, child. Then next up is Tuberose number two right here. The thing about Histoire de Parfum for me is that they can be so interesting. Now, they don't always come off right, but they are always interesting fragrances. So this one is Tuberose. It has... Um, it has uh, citrus in it, so it has mandarin orange. It has cherry in it. So this is a cherry tuberose. It has jasmine, it has tiara, it has frangipani. Now, the interesting thing is, it's, it's, it's not like if you said you hear tiara and frangipani, you think it's going to be super tropical. It isn't. But it's so pretty on. Like, this is one of those things when you wear it, if you're out and I'm telling you, the first time I saw it, oh my God, I really loved it, was I was sitting on my back porch and the breeze hit me. I'm in Chicago, you know, that lake breeze hit me. And I was like, damn, I just felt enveloped in this gorgeous, glorious floral. It just felt like I was wrapped up in a, in a sublime floral moment. It was like an experience for me right then. So that is tuberose number two. Now, honestly, this is my favorite of them all. This is two rows number three. And I got to stop this. I'm going to have to stop giving this, stop selling this because I can't get no more. But this is a dark, mysterious tuberose. This one has plum in it. And it also has white tobacco in it and mortel. This is a very, mm, this is a very dark, deep, mysterious tuberose. I adore this tuberose now the thing with these is that they have tuberose in every level from the top to the mid to the to the bottom which means that you going it's tuberose you gonna know you wearing tuberose but each one is so different oh my goodness i love them absolutely adore them all right so let's talk about these i just talked about these in my flanker thing on friday my flanker um video with kia on friday so i'm just gonna pull these out where's the other one at where's she at this one this one oh hold on all right let's talk about the la entre these now before you ask i don't own a full bottle of the edp i have a decan i have done videos on these discuss them all but let's just go over them so the the edt la entre d edt y'all this is the beautiful this is the la entre d for spring and summer it has more it's more floral it's not as sweet it's more it's got the florals in it and i just love this for the spring and summer i've been wearing it wore to work the other day because it's just not as overbearing not in a bad way but you know some tuber roses can be a little overbearing so this has a this is that floral it's not overbearing it's just absolutely beautiful it is it has that entre d e, e, uh, dna but it just takes it down to a brighter fresher vibe this is definitely a swanky little little number right there then we have of course the intense oh man it has a slight nuttiness from the sesame but the sesame is not so strong that it can overpower but this is a sweet beautiful creamy tuberose this is sexy this is a very sensual tuberose it it fits the bottle it does then we have melissima which is right here now honestly i didn't need this one um this is like a in between the edp and the intense this has a lot more in uh ginger it has some ginger in it. it's a little spicier has um and that's why i wanted it um has that it has orange blossom honestly i'm aware it a little more because i'm hoping that 
when I wear it again, I'll start vibing on it. So I'm hoping for it in the fall. And I'm like, yes, okay, Melissa, you, 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 you in there, just like the intense. But yeah, so this is Melissa. Then we have these are very stunning. Well, let me do this one first, and I'm gonna go do that. Let's talk Chinatown by bot number nine. Now, everyone will tell you if you love to bros and you want you got some coin go and get you chinatown by bond number nine the thing with this this is a very this is a creamy um very beautiful very delicate vibe to bros very delicate floral it really does vibe very like you would think like the delicacy of cherry blossoms and things like that so it has this very delicate vibe to it it's just very pretty. It's very feminine. It's very girly, um, but it has a certain elegance to it and sophistication. So this is like that. This is that tuberose. It's just very, very well mannered. Let's put it that way because it's it's not like tuberose number three where it's in your face. It's not super super sweet like velvet vanilla. It's a very well mannered, gorgeous tuberose. Then I have this one. Now, this one might be a little hard to find um, because I think this uh, line is discontinued. And this is such an inexpensive line. But this is La Perla's Contemporary Tuberose, right? Got this last year. If you can find it at a good price, this is a beautiful tuberose on a budget. It's very beautiful. It's creamy. It ha it, it's just... Can you hear my neighbors? Okay. It's, if you can't, good. Um, it's very, it wears very refined, um, especially for the price point. And so, you know, and I hate to say that, but I'd love to find things that are, you know, surprisingly good for the price. Because, you know, people act like if you pay $30 for some, you know, perfume, it's got to stink. It's got to smell like alcohol. It's got to smell, you know, just, just like some kind of low, like you going to smell like you just bought, um, if you want to wear a Giorgio, um, get, get, um, what was that stuff? You know what I'm talking about? I'm gonna find a bottle of that shit. But anyway, this is gorgeous. It's a beautiful classic tuberose. This is like wedding, you know, it's like wild python. It's very classic. It very, it's like definitely like this would be perfect for a wedding, for a bride. This is a, this is like that type of tuberose. All right, next up is this one, and this is Alien Fusion. Now, I got to be honest with y'all, I didn't even like this thing last year. I had it. I didn't like it. I was like, mm, nah, it's not working for me. It's not working for me. But then I wore it again. Like I said, you wear some things again, and you go, oh, damn, I was wrong. This is one that I was wrong about. This is one. This is Alien Fusion. This pulls out the jasmine, adds tuberose. It's got a little spice to it. The spice don't last long enough. That's my only issue with it. But I will say this, this is the Alien, if you struggle with Alien, because the tuberose gives it a certain lightness to it. It's not quite as deep and dense, but it's still sexy. You know, it still has that Alien sexiness, but it's, it's a little bit lighter. It's a little bit lighter on the skin. It's a little bit, it's a little, it has a little more, um, it, it, it has a classic alien vibe. It's still suggestive. It's still erotic, but it's just a little bit lighter and it's not quite as off-putting as the original alien can be. So that's fusion. Speaking of something that I really didn't, I was like, I don't know if I like it. I had always said a while ago, I was like, yeah, this isn't one of my favorites from the house, but now, damn it. I'm telling y'all, sometimes you just got to really try some shit on again. This is Detour Noir by Serge Luton. Now, I'm going to say this. I think that when I was wearing this before, I really was just getting into tuberose. And so I didn't catch how beautiful it was. Don't get me wrong. I was getting compliments. I used to get compliments whenever I wore but I was just like, I was like, oh, it's okay. Mm -mm. This is tuberose and coconuts. This is beautiful. This is a beautiful summertime 
tuberose. I don't know what, why, I don't know where I was living at. My people who love this and I talk shit about it, y'all can come for me now. Just, just come for me. I know some people are gonna say some stuff, Helen, Coco. I know y'all gonna say something because y'all was like, I love tuber the Tour Noir. And I was like, it's all right. I was lying. It's beautiful. It's, mm, mm, mm. It's just extravagant. It's very, you know, the thing is, Serge Luton is really good at these type of fragrances. You know, they really do take things and layer. Christopher Sheldrake is a master. You know, very, he, he's, he does what he does, what he does. Sometimes they don't come out quite right. But when he hits it, he hits it out the ballpark. And the Tour Noir is one that he hit out the uh, ballpark. Now, this one right here is one of my favorite tuberoses. This is Tuberose Vertigenui by Molinar. First off, the bottle is beautiful. It's hard to find, though. I the, the guess they um, discontinued this one. This is a little bit more expensive than the purple bottles. But let me tell you, this is one of the most perfect floral tuberoses. This thing smells like a garden of tuberose. It is it's long lasting and strong. If you like florals and you want a really pretty floral tuberose, this is one to try to find. It's got a greenness to it. It's green. It's uh, <clears throat> it's just very <coughs> I'm sorry. It's very botanical. It's just this beautiful floral. And so when I wear this, it's just like I, I, I smell like tuberose. I smell like gorgeous floral tuberose. Like, you know, I just had a, and let me see, I've actually, years ago, I used to, every once in a while you can find tuberose. I used to buy tu tuberose flor flowers. So it smells like that. All right. This one is another stunning, stunning summer tuberose. This is iCat Jasmine. Now, this is by Aaron. This, this one took me out last year when I got it. So much so that I had to buy the big bottle. This is this beautiful white floral. And the reason why I say it's a summer one is because this is tuberose and jasmine, which can be some, they they strong. They they come in the dough like, what's up? But what they did was they they um, tempered this down with honeysuckle, which gives it this lightness and brightness and airiness that you would never believe you can get from a jasmine tuberose combination. But you get it from this jasmine tuberose honeysuckle. It's just bright and airy and fresh, and something that you could wear in the summertime and still have that. You know, this is like that beach sexy because i wouldn't say like nighttime sexy because it's so light and fresh but it's like beach sexy it's like going to a picnic sexy like say if you were doing like a picnic date this would be perfect because it would just be light and airy and fresh but with a subtle sexiness to it so that is i cat jasmine by who is this Aaron? <laughs> this is another inexpensive tuberose you know kind of center this is y'all know i love this blind there's a couple more i need to get before i do my full version of this oh okay this is banana republic's gardenia and cardamom mm. this is a beautiful creamy tuberose it's got gardenia it's got cardamom you will find like a lot of times you see cardamom mixed with these type of things this is a creamy beautiful stunning tuberose and gardenia mix so it's the white floral gardenia i love gardenia i love tuberose it's got a little spiciness from the cardamom you cannot go wrong with this it's just mm, mm -mm. this this is this is cultured this is a very cultured this is a, you know like you see how it's like it's in this frosted white bottle and that's the way it comes up it's frosty it's it's cultured it's you know it's like the museums it's like when you're going on a museum date when you're going to the art gallery and then you're gonna have a stunning little lunch you're gonna go to the art gallery and then have lunch you know a lunch date and then art gallery this is what you wear because this is just very cultured very swanky and inexpensive so this is um 
you know, Banana Republic's Gardenia and Cardamom. This one, I almost thought I was not going to be able to wear it, but I could. And this is Nuit de Tuberose by La Artisan Parfum. When I first smelled it on paper, it was super peppery. And if you smell like this, super peppery. But once you put it on, baby, no. It is just a beautiful, I got to say this, you know, this is kind of, it's a very classy tuberose. Let me just put some on because I haven't warned you. I like the, like when I first put it on paper, I was like, uh, like right now, I smell pepper. But it only lasts for a couple of seconds. And then you start, and then the tuberose starts coming through. It's very stylish. Mm. It's very floral. It has an extravagance to it. Mm, this is so good. It's got this little sweetness to it. So there's a sweetness to it. There's this there's this peppery spiciness to it. Oh, this is so gorgeous. This is so so. Mm, this this just does it for me. So this is Nuit de Tuberose. This is one of my newer ones. I gotta wear her some more. She gonna have to get some more. It's just very exhilarating. It's got this kind of heady vibe. It's very. It is strong. It is strong. Yeah, it's beautiful. All right, then we have this one. This is a Kirk John. This is Elisab number nine um, tuberose. This is a spicy tuberose. I like a good spicy tuberose. This is cinnamon. This is tuberose. It's it's very simple note structure, but well blended, well done. It's a Kirk John. No matter who he works for, his stuff, usually his stuff is very good, very stylish, very classic, and very, you know, well done. So if you're looking for a spicy tuberose with a little cinnamon and everything in it, just the one right here. It's got this little captivating vibe to it. You know, it's got the now speaking of spicy tuberoses. I don't even know why I bought this one, but I bought it. This is Gold Flowers by Montal. OMG. This is cloves. This is, I think it's got cinnamon in it. This is one of the spiciest, sexiest tuberoses you will ever get. Let me tell you something. This is that tuberose that's just, oh my goodness. Like I say, it's spicy. It's got the spiciness to it. It just is very provocative. Oh man, I love this thing. It's very sensual um, because it's got the spice and then that that creamy, sweet tuberose in it. Oh yes, yes, yes. All right. I'm going to find up, I'm, well, I'm not going to be done, but let's talk about these. I thought about, I said, wait, I got three different types. So these are my amouages that are tuberose driven. This, of course, is Honor. Honor, this was my first amouage. This is kind of what made me really fall between Wild Python and this. The honor made me fall in love with white florals, tuberose, and everything. This is this is country club chic, as I always say. This is trust fund baby. This just meant this says money baby. This says monty. This is just ridiculous. This is just very well mannered. It's cultured. It's beautiful. Um, when you wearing this. You smell like you have absolutely no cares. You have no cares in the world. You, the last thing, you, your bills are paid. You don't even think about your bills because, you know, your ma money manager handles them. That's what honor says to me. Then, of course, you're talking about Amouage tuberoses. You got to pull out the love tuberose. This is the sweet one. Oh, my goodness. This is the sweet one with that whipped cream in it. If you're looking for a sweet tuberose and you got a little coin to throw at it get love tuberose it's just got that whipped cream accord so it's a sweet beautiful tuberose very so once again it's classy though this guy's class she class she class now this is my latest one this just came out of nowhere this is called figment first off the bottle is ridiculously stunning i got to wipe her off or something i don't know what got on her but she is stunting okay this is Okay, Figment 
is th this honor is super classy well-mannered chic you know the country club vibe love tuberose is sweet you know just you know very girly feminine figment is that chick figment is the unique tuberose this one takes a minute you gotta really love tuberose and you gotta be willing to just let this play on your skin because in the beginning it might be a it's, it's kind of got this weirdness to it but i like it it's kind of sweet it's kind of floral it's got this fruitiness to it i like it so this is that unique this is like that that's this is this is the artsy rich girl you know the girl who goes to art school who's very you know very chill and hip and everything but you know she's got to go to the family events and everything so she you know her mother grandmother are like could you just please could you just please so when she comes in she's gonna wear her tuberose she's gonna have on a classic but it's gonna have a twist to it so it's gonna have that classic with a twist and that's figment because you know this real money when you buy these babies even though i ain't paid that much for these so i'm okay yes okay now here are my these are my last ones i do all the ones i already have okay so here's my latest ones that just came today <laughs> okay this one i actually tried um i actually had i've had this particular decant for a long time and i thought i didn't like it i was like no but then with my new love of iris became i said let me try this again and i tried it again and i said oh shit, this is good and then i found a tester bottle so this is my first creed and this is iris tuberose this is my first one that i bought full bottle other one i want is virgin island water other than that i really haven't tried a lot of creed okay so anyway this is iris tuberose it is what it says it is iris it is tuberose that's what it is ah, so the iris is very crisp it's very botanical there's very it's very green in the beginning and when i first tried this i wasn't featuring greens and things like this but then as it settles down the tuberose blossoms so you start out with this beautiful iris similar to like tuberose number one but this is a little different tuberose number one is very floral very flout floral this is more green but it's beautiful and the tuberose is a little more creamy it's kind of more in your face so that's that now this is the next one i got today that just came because i found a really good deal on this this is miller harris noir de tuberose so let me get off camera open this and then we go see what it smells like be right back okay so this you know oh, I almost dropped it. okay so let's just talk about the prettiness of this bottle so there it is and it's got these beautiful flowers on the back which don't really look like tuberose but okay whatever um so when I got, I've been hearing about it, hearing about it. People are like, oh my God, if you like tuberose, noir de tuberose. So I got noir de tuberose. Noir, noir. I don't know how to say it. But anyway, noir de tuberose. So anyway, this is Miller Harris. This is a UK niche brand. Well, this is my first one of them too. Oh, this is pretty. It's a little powdery. Let's put her on got a nice spray oh my god let me let this sit down Ooh, ooh. slightly powdery but gorgeous oh my goodness oh my goodness oh my goodness editing lulu will put a little note up here and let you all know what she thinks about it after it sat on her skin for a little bit you know is it right off the bat i like it though kind of am i smelling something nutty in here okay i'm gonna have to wait for a while but anyway that's it we are done whoo child once again it's a long ass video i will count out how many two rows i have so i can put that in the thumbnail but it's a bunch of them all right y'all so thank y'all for hanging out with me as always if you're watching this in the in the premiere with me 
I appreciate your time and effort to come and hang out with me oh, when I do these um, uh, premieres. And if you watch this later on and you make it this motherfucking far, you are the MVP. Solid on that. Solid. Solid. For real. All right. So that's it today. Be bold. Be brave. Be fearless. Be free. Hey, don't sweat the small stuff. Sometimes glamour doesn't have to be well-dressed. It just has to come from within. See you later.